Hey what's up guys so in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily extract colors from any image using affinity designer now it is very helpful when you are trying to incorporate any image in your design or you want to create some design and you want to use the colors that uh, might have inspired you to create that design now I will be considering two scenarios for this video the first scenario is that when you already have an image you might have downloaded it from any public domain website or you might have just uh, downloaded it from Google Images because extracting colors or using colors from any image is not illegal. You can download um, any kind of like, for example, logo of some big brand, something, and you might want to use those kind of colors in your design. The only thing that might get you in trouble is to design the same thing with using the same color. So I would not recommend that. But if you want to use the colors from uh, anything, uh, maybe it's an advertisement maybe it is a kind of like a magazine or something anything you can use the colors it is not really an a, any kind of a, a problematic thing so here on the screen you can see that I have an image this is just uh, an image that I downloaded from unsplash and it is I think a photograph for some kind of a paint mixture or something like that so that is an interesting uh, image and I would like to show you how you can easily extract colors from this one so you can use it for photographic image maybe landscape person food anything another example that i would like to consider here is this second image now this is already kind of like an illustration although this image is an might be an, an a photograph of a wall art uh, but this one is here to i would like to use it to illustrate that you can use uh, any kind of illustrations any kind of drawing something anything that you might cut uh, even from google images you can use these to extract images actually to extract colors from these things so let me just open up the affinity designer so here in the affinity designer i have already created a, a document and that is very important because uh, without that uh, you can create i think i am not sure uh, if you can create the palettes or not or swatches uh, but this is how i found out that you can do it so i have already created a blank document and in the swatches there are these default uh, colors or default palettes so if i want to use um, that image if i want to set colors from that image so what i would do here is that at the top right i would go to this option and i would first create a document palette and the difference between a document palette and an application palette is that the document palette is only available in this particular document so if you close this document that palette is gone and if you open up that document again that will I mean, that palette or those color swatch will be present in this document so you might want to send it to somebody so that is very important to use this document palette so i'm going to create a document palette and this is not a necessary step uh, but it is going to help us so i'm just going to create a new document palette and it is unnamed we might uh, we can rename it but uh, let's not just uh, focus on that so then I'm going to go to that option again and I'm going to choose this option called create palette from image and I'm going to select this now it is, has opened up a new window and in this I'm going to select uh, the first one image the paint image so I'll just select it open it up and it will analyze it and show me the default colors so I have the, uh, the default option as the five so I can choose choose five colors from this image so currently this option means that it is going to select five colors from this image and add it to my swatches panel and i can increase it to some other thing let us say 15 i think that would be too much but still you can create as much as you like and but mostly i would like to stick under 10 so let's say just six colors so this is going to help you uh, create an kind of like a neat design not too complex something very simple so i can just simply create but before that i have to choose this option should this color palette be available in the application whenever i open up this application or should it be available in the document so if i choose this document you know this document palette it will create a new document palette so i already have a created document palette so i'm not going to choose this second option as well but if you have not created a document palette you can choose this option and it will create it for you but for this purpose actually for now i'm going to select this option currently selected palette and then i'm going to press create and it has added these colors to our document so another thing that you can do here is that these colors are just simple swatches 
so if i i create multiple kind of uh, like a, um, shapes like a square a circle and maybe another thing like that and i might have filled it with this green color and i also might want to fill it with this green and this green so these are simple swatches so currently if i want to change the color for uh, let's say i have multiple shapes that has this particular color this first swatch so i have to go into each and every that thing and then choose the color and change the color from that or i can go into select select same and fill color and sometimes it does not work um, because we have might have many groups and in different groups we have different shapes so it can cause some kind of problem so easier fix for that is that whenever you want to start coloring but before that you can right click it and then make it global so what it would do if i select this one choose this color select this one choose this color and then select this one and choose this color now if i'm going to edit this color let's say i'm going to choose hsl sliders so if i change the colors all of the colors wherever it is present will change with it so let me just undo it so this is uh, very helpful in that scenario so this is how you can easily create color palettes from any image that you might have downloaded from internet now there is a second scenario the second scenario is that when the image is not available you might want to take a screenshot from a video you might have a video you might uh, have some kind of uh, online kind of like anything currently there are many different kind of like ways that online colors are present on websites and all that i'm not too much uh, uh, you know familiar into the coding and all that but let's say that you might have seen uh, some kind of video on youtube and you want, want to create color palettes from any section of that video so let me show you how you can do that as well so here is the video and this is actually the my own video on my channel and I have created these colorful candy shapes, Halloween themed candy shapes and I got a comment asking me that if I can provide the sample or the color palettes so actually this video is because of that comment so what I would usually do is that I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose this option take screenshot now by the way I'm using Mozilla Firefox for this purpose because this browser has this option uh, taking screenshots built in into it I don't have to download or I don't have to install any kind of external add-on or extension but if you are using any other browser I'm sure that there might be some extension that will provide the similar kind of feature to you so I'm just going to choose this option to create screenshot and it identifies different uh, you can say sections of this web page and I can choose any kind of section but I'm uh, interested in this one so I'm just going to click here and it has selected this whole video uh, area and then I'm going to simply download it after downloading it's the same process that I have already shown you so inside Affinity Designer I'm going to go to the same option and then I'm going to choose this option create palette from image and I'm going to select that screenshot that I've just taken and again you can see that it has given me the option how much colors I want so let's say I want uh, maybe 15 colors I'm not sure I have used 15 colors but anyway so this is the colors I have the palette they have created I think I have used less than that so let's make it make it uh, 10 and then preview it so it has selected colors from that image or that screenshot and has given me this color option and again I'm going to choose this one and select create and it has added those colors into my uh, swatches panel so guys that's how you can easily create color palettes or color swatches from any image and also using screenshots for, for video or anything online and you can easily use those color in your own designs so hopefully you have found this video to be helpful if so make sure that you like the video and let me know in the comments below what do you think about this and hopefully i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching